Hello, uh, in this video tutorial I'll show you how to use uh, Rayfire with particle flow support and Rayfire cache to create uh, this effect by which uh, you can see how I fill the dish by the cereal and there are 4000 uh, cereal pieces and as you can see the simulation is pretty well and it works in real time So let's start. So here's my dish which we are going to fill by the cereals. Uh, let's create particle source. I will use circle uh, icon type. Uh, let's position it here. I guess I'll make it less. Okay, now uh, make sure you have 100% for viewport and for render. Now let's open particle view. And uh, this is my paper source setup. So, uh, first of all, let's set here display to geometry. And let's change shape to the store and decrease size <coughs> now let's increase amount of these uh, particles let's say 4000 and uh, let's set speed to stop emitting them at frame 120 maybe increase amount of Serials and decrease speed. It's too fast right now. Okay, uh, now let's uh, let's uh, let's create delete operator. This is actually the operator which defines when a uh, rayfire will start simulating. Uh, particles of a separate geometry object and let's set it to 5 so after simulating 5 frames these particles will, will turn into the geometry and start fall down and simulate it so let's, uh, let's actually decrease speed less okay and now we can start set up ev everything in Rayfire open Rayfire so uh, this uh, particle source should be added in this simulation properties list here and uh, in this case it will start simulating them as dynamic object so uh, you should here in the dynamic impact object properties you can define uh, simulation geometry and material which you will use for this serials and uh, first uh, for first simulation I will set it to sphere just to uh, get a um, quick simulation to see how it simulates and uh, I will add this ground and this dish into the static and kinematic object list and since uh, this dish has now any animation it will be simulated as static object which means physics will use concave uh, geometry, simula uh, geometry for simulation so it will use this actual geometry and uh, let's uh, now we can start simulation by clicking this bake I think I will need less serials. Okay, I will hit cancel. 
and uh, go to this particle source set here to say 4000 and uh, also I think I will decrease size just a little bit and now now uh, now I want uh, this um, dish to be affected by the cereals maybe it's not too realistic since it's glass and this is just uh, cereal but uh, I want it somehow to push this dish so let's select the dish and go to options open custom properties log and in this case as you can see I will use custom properties for this dish so I will add it into dynamic list so now it will be affected and it also will be simulated but for this dish I will let's say use uh, let's say let's set here glass and decrease friction maybe make it too little and uh, and decrease density so the less density the less mass it will have and uh, the more it will be affected and here's my uh, particles so they will be simulated as dynamic object and they will use this wood material and here in this material presets you can check select any material like this wood and change uh, the properties so I will increase density like this and uh, also uh, since this dish will be simulated uh, as dynamic object physics won't be able to use concave simulation shape so if I will start simulation right now uh, physics will use convex shape and I won't be able to feel it uh, I will just show you what you will get right now let's start simulation oh sorry set here to convex so here you can see this serial uh, collide at this edge and to fix this you can select the dish apply verify Voronoi modifier say 70 pieces and hidden it so now you can see it consists of 70 or maybe less elements and uh, if I will start simulation right now physics will use convex shape but not for one big object but for every element and together they will uh, simulate it as one concave uh, geometry so uh, now let's start simulation also I think I will I want to affect this dish after it will be filled by some force let's say maybe some bomb uh, I will add it in this simulation list as well and uh, let's set frame to 120 and uh, maybe 150 and the strength will be very low I guess it will be enough, just a little uh, push um, ok that's enough here and uh, my last frame will be 500 everything is fine so now we can start simulation Okay. And now I can see, let's pause it. Now you can see some uh, cereals passing through the dish. This is because our substrate is pretty low right now, but this will happen anyway. We can decrease the amount of this uh, cereals. So let's hit cancel. I will set substrate to three, maybe four, 
And so I think I want this dish to be affected so much. So let's uh, go to uh, the material here and decrease density something like this and try again okay simulation finished and uh, this is the result I added another bomb uh, during simulation so um, right now as you can see there are 4032 uh, objects and it's pretty hard to manage all these objects which you've seen and also let's save it save us and save incremental save so now let's open its size and it's 160 megabyte one, uh, one skin uh, now let's use another refire tool refire cache Okay, I will add here all in this record. I will add all serials. And let's say two hundred and sixteen and frame and let's record it okay so now we can delete all the actual serials okay so now we have only this dish ground bomb and this cache object and we get the same simulation and you can see it's we can play it in real time so we replaced this for thousand object but by one uh, cache object now let's save it again and now your screen will its scene size is 12 kilobyte and uh, the cache size we will try to open it it's 90 megabyte oh sorry 85 megabytes and using this refire cache you have additional uh, abilities to control using this playback rollout so you can decrease speed so let's say make it really slow and uh, just in case someone wants to know how to apply this random material you can select this cache object apply material by element set here random distribution to 5 and create some multi sub object material with different materials and apply to the cache object It's not doesn't work in real time right now. So you can make it off in viewport. But Okay, thank you for watching.